Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm gonna take you inside how Mr. Hino kind of ends the year and also some organization. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do my inventory with my students so that way when they turn in their kits, it's ready for next year. And I'm also gonna show you how I get things organized. I know you've seen my cabinets before, but I got some new ones to take care of some expansion issues. So stay with me. All right, let's talk inventory. So when I know that my students are basically done for the year and they're not gonna need their kits anymore, I give them, well, I take their uh, piece map from their Mindstorms kit and I basically just blew this up to 11 by 14, just so it's easier for them to see. Uh, you have to keep in mind though that they're gonna need to remember, oh, I need to look on this piece map for which color it is, because they always think that this is black when it really is red. So you're just gonna have to remind them, always refer to your colored piece map so you know which color things are. So basically I make them turn this kit in the way that they received it, and it's perfect so they will count out 54 track pieces when they got them they'll just cross it off so they're basically making sure they have the exact amount of pieces no more no less um, and I know what you're saying Mr. you know how are you sure that everything is perfect you can't um, so what I do is when they're ready to check in um, I will just ask to see two random pieces out of their tray two random pieces below their tray and you know I, i'm not going to obviously ever know if it's everything's perfect but we'll try to get it as perfect as we can and then i asked them also to clean their bricks of any programs so that it's completely empty for the next year students to use and that becomes a part of their grade so they just know that they're responsible for taking care of this kit and make sure it's returned as good as it was when they got it so seeing this takes me back um, four years ago when we were first opening up our core kits from Lego Mindstorms. We never really had an organizational system. And you guys know that those of you that have expansion kits, um, when the students use their core kit with the expansion kit, things can get a little disorganized because a lot of the pieces are similar to both kits. So something like this can eventually happen where I am now saying, oh, you need this expansion kit? Look through this and you could see the look on their face. So I had to get uh, more cabinets like the ones I'm gonna show you right now. So I've left you guys the link. I've given the, the link a few times already, but uh, I have four of these and you can see how we're in the process of organizing uh, beams here and axles and everything like that. So students are starting to turn in their kits. Um, obviously they have a lot of extra pieces. So they end up putting them in and things like this. And then we end up having to organize them and put them back into the drawers. So, you know, when people need it, they got it. So for the expansion, I had to do the same thing. So I just got this the other day. I got two of these, thanks to my wonderful office staff. Thanks, Lou. Um, this is Acro Mills. Not sure if I'm saying that right. But again, I've left you the description in the, let me put this down. I've left you the description in the uh, description the link. Let me take this thing out. Wow. I forgot how it looks like when it's brand new. Woohoo! Okay, so that's now going to be the new home for all of these expansion pieces that we've never had a home for. So now let me go ahead and show you what I'll do to um, get this organized. So I've taken the lid off of uh, the expansion kit, the, basically the piece map here. And basically what I'm gonna do is just cut out the pictures of uh, the, you know, the pieces here. 
And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the drawer so students know exactly what piece is supposed to be inside of that drawer. So I've already begun to cut the pieces out and I'll basically just fasten that to the drawer and voila, we can start to organize uh, the pieces so that we do not have that giant mess in that kit anymore. They will now be organized. Okay, five minutes later, we have our first row already done. So you can see how I just cut the pictures out of the piece map. You guys get to see this in real time. And then I just attach it to the drawer so students know, okay, that's the piece that should go there. That's home. Okay, 15 minutes later, and we have almost four rows of expansion kit pieces. So I'm getting there. Okay, everybody, a little update. We got the first four rows done, and we already have a home. So if this works right, just look inside there and that's the piece that should match. Something to keep in mind is some pieces are just too big to put in those drawers so you're going to have to just have another container ready. So these sprockets and these H frames and picture frames just needed a bigger home. So I made the mistake of thinking that some of the expansion pieces could fit into the drawer and I'm going to have to find a better container for them. So case in point, I was, I guess, naive to think that I could fit a whole bunch in here, but I have a lot more of those that I'm going to need to find a better container for. And definitely these, I have way more that will, you know, need to get placed somewhere else because they just won't fit in those drawers. But, you know, there are other things that fit quite nicely. Uh, these gray J-beams, perfect. Um, these three whole grays looking okay getting a little full so that's why we got two of these to just kind of make sure we can fit everything in there okay everybody so hopefully you liked uh, the organization um, I'm just not a huge fan of students spending minutes and sometimes if you add it up hours looking for pieces I mean it's just wasted time that we can never get back and I feel so much better when my students can just walk over pull out a drawer, get what they need, and then they're just right back on to whatever project they're on. Because I've seen the faces too before, you know, we had the organization, and they would be like, oh, you could just see all the life sucked out of them. Like, I gotta look for these things, and they, they just wanna be able to roll. And I know what you're saying. They should have all these things in their kits, but they're kids. They're gonna drop things, they're gonna lose things. And so I just want them to be able to go get it. I need, I just, point and they should just go get it get what they need and then they're back on task for whatever they're doing so again check out the link i've left um, in the description on those cabinets um, if you're interested in doing that um, i'm just telling you life is so much nicer um, with them okay guys happy organizing i'm mr hino from missionals lego robotics i'm out